Hi everyone and welcome to Web Easy Step Tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this series is about learning React Native for absolute beginners. In this tutorial, we will discuss the async storage, the activity indicator, and what is the difference between switch navigator and stack navigator. What is the async storage? Async storage is simply a local storage. It is a simple, unencrypted, asynchronous, persistent key value storage system that is global to the app, which means if you close your app and open again, it will save all the values in the mobile storage and return or rehydrate the data to the mobile app. As example, in the web browser, you may use local storage to save some data. If you open Gmail and try to send an email, then your connection is failed. It will work perfectly and you can access your email and edit, add, whatever. And when the internet is returned again and you will be online, it will send all these data to Gmail server. So the async storage is packed by native code which means on iOS it will handle this by storing the small values in a serialized dictionary and a large values in a separate files. On the other side in Android it will save the data in SQLite or RocksDB based on what it's available. Let's take a look at the example. If you go to the website for React Native in the documentation and search for async storage and go to see it is a very simple to work with. To persist the data or save a value in the async storage, it is very easy. Just put the key on the first parameter and the second you put the value using set item. If you want to fetch the data that you presented, it is very easy. Just use get item and put the key here. Also, you have multiple functions to work with like remove item or merge item or clear and so on. Activity indicator. The activity indicator represented a UI widget which displays a progress indicator hinting the user for some background operations like running, a load image, data, accepting a request, and it is a very easy component to work with. Let's see the example. This is the example for the activity indicator. Here we pass the size for the activity. It may be large, small, and this is the color property. Here we set blue and green, but you can use any color you want. And this is a few properties for this indicator. Switch navigator. The purpose of a switch navigator is to only ever show one screen at a time. By default, it doesn't handle back action and it is resistive routes to their default state when you switch away. It's used to switch between screens or stacks based on condition. Mostly use this switch navigator in authentication flow. Now we will go to the practical example to see how to work with switch navigator and integrate it with stack navigator. This will make us understand switch navigator deeply and also we will use the activity indicator and async storage together with a full flow authentication example. At the end, I will support you with the link for the full example. Let's do it. Welcome again to the practical example. In this example, 
we load activity indicator async storage button style sheet view and text input from react native this example is for react native as you see here react native 55.4 and react navigation 2.5.1 now after installing the react native and importing create stack navigator create switch navigator from react navigation we create the four components sign in screen home screen other screen auth loading screen and we create two stacks the first stack we use create stack navigator in the old versions of react navigation it has be stack navigator but it updated after this and and now it is create stack navigator and to create stack navigator we open a new object and add home and other this is the two routes into the first route we pass the first component which is home screen and other and pass other screen this stack navigator named as app stack app stack for authenticated users only the auth stack we create a stack navigator with one component the route is sign in and the pass the screen which is sign in screen after creating the two stacks here we create a new constant which is the app name and export this app and export this app to use it in the index imported the app here in the register component the entry point for the application in the app we used a create switch navigator here we create the switch navigator into this switch navigator we have two objects the first one which is hold the screens and the stacks we have a three routes the first route which is auth loading the second which is app the third which is auth in the first route we pass the component auth loading in the second we use the app stack and the third we use auth stack when the application run in the first time it will load the app and it will go to the create switch navigator and it will see the initial route name which is auth loading when start with auth loading it will go to the auth loading screen if you open the auth loading screen in the constructor it will go to the bootstrap async function here we will fetch the user token using async storage get item that what explained from moments now we use navigate and into navigate it will navigate to the app or auth after it check the user token if there is a user token if someone has login it will go to the app and will be like this navigate to app if not it will go to the auth okay it will go to the auth and until loading it will use activity indicator to load on this screen so let's assume that there is a no user in the first time there is no user token so it will go to the auth again it will navigate to the auth which is in the create switch navigator in the auth route it will redirect the user to auth stack in the auth stack there is a sign in screen here so it will open the sign screen into the sign screen it will find the username and password input when the user click on the button sign in it will use 
this function sign in async and pass the user data into user token and navigate the user to the app so after saving the user data in the async storage it will navigate the user to the app route where is the app route here in the switch navigator so as you may notice that the switch navigator handle all the redirection and the cover the stacks the components to manage and handle all routes so when you navigate to the app it will go to the app stack which is a stack navigator with two screens home screen and other screen it will start from the first screen which is home screen because it is the first screen in the order so let's close it will go to the home screen open it and here it will render two patterns show me more on the app on press on this function it will navigate to the other screen when click on actually sign me out it will use the on press event to go to sign out async function it is an arrow function and it will clear the async storage and navigate again to the auth what is the auth it is an auth stack a routing in create switch navigator and it will redirect him to sign in again and will open the sign in screen this is the flow so let's see the practical flow on the emulator so when the app loading in the first time it will see like this please sign in after entering your username or password and press sign in you will see welcome to the app screen if i refresh remember rr to refresh you will see the same screen why because the async storage save the user token if i click on show me more of the app i will go to the other screen if i done and sign out i will go again to the sign in screen if I refresh I am in the sign in screen so this is the example it is from the react navigation here if you go to the react navigation you will find the full example here you can click run the code to see the full example online using Xbo and I hope you understand this example correctly if you have any question leave a comment if you like this video press like and to get the latest tutorials on react native subscribe to my channel thank you for watching see you next bye